Hi everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Sci, the art and science of Watts Collection. Uh, today what I want to do is to take a look at two of my, my favorite uh, watch companies. And one is Zaza Lukutra and the other one is uh, Habring 2. One is Austrian, uh, the other is Swiss. So let's get started and have a look at these two. Now, before I, I do get started, this is not what you might call a general overview. I picked ones that I like a lot for one reason or another. And so if you're expecting a general overview of either either brand, um, I don't want to disappoint you. So anyway, these are ones I just think, well, these are very cool watches you might be interested in. Starting off is what may have been really the original uh, sports watch. And this is the uh, Zardar Lakuta Reverso Classic Monoface. And the Monoface, as some of you probably already know, was uh, developed for a polo player uh, in India. And they had a guy without, he loved his Zardar Lakuta. He would wear it playing polo and it would get busted up. So uh, he, he he talked to uh, the guy who was the head of it, and he said, hey, could you do something for me? So what he did, he, he this is the classic, what's called, uh, they now call the mono face. Uh, and they just flip it over when you're playing polo. So for you polo players, keep this in mind, our lacrosse players. Anyway, uh, the, the reverso, is a true classic and i think it's i i would i would touch it as the original sports watch uh caliber 822a uh, manual wine three hertz like that uh this particular model list price and that's all i'm going to have is the msrp on it is sixty nine hundred dollars now there's another one this is a newer one called the uh, reverso tr tribute dual face and the dual face is like the mono face, except when you open it up, instead of having a, a solid back to it, there's another there's another dial, there's another watch, really. And so what you have on one side, uh, we'll call it the blue side, because that's what we're showing there. And you flip it over, and you can see it's been flipped over, because uh, notice where the crown has flipped from the right side over to the left side. And now on the on the other side, on the uh, the flip side, you have a 24-hour sub-dial to show you night and day. And, and I thought that was sort of a neat thing. You can so what you can use this for is a dual time zone watch. You could have on the front, you could have wherever you're going or the home time, and then flip it over, and you can see not only some other time. Uh, here you can see on the front it's uh, two little after uh, 11 o'clock and on the other side it's a little after four o'clock. So they have different times there. But then if you look at the night and day, you can see in the other time what time of day it is because there's a little 24 hour clock. Really just a brilliant, both of these I think are just really cool watches. Now Harboring 2, uh, I I. I'm wearing my Felix Harboring 2 right now. I've had this for years. It's just been one of those good, solid watches that keeps great time. So <laughs> there's that. Um, very Bauhaus uh, design to it. Uh, $57.50. The price is in, I mean, they're not cheap, but they're they're not crazy expensive either. For an everyday, almost forever watch, you need a watch you want to wear every day. You don't mind getting up and winding it every day. Um, this is a great watch. It it just something about it that uh, when you have it, you can just check it out. They have come in different colors. Uh, I have the black dial uh, with sort of I think the uh, there's a red hand on the sub dial. They have a lot, they have some different ones. They have some salmon ones and so forth. It's just a good solid watch. The A11 um, A stands for Austria. 
11 was 2011 when it, they first came out with it. Uh, B, I guess, the second edition of it, uh, 4 hertz. Uh, the thing that I like about it, uh, I don't think this thing will ever have uh, silicon parts in it. I hope not anyway. But it has a Carl Haas hairspring. And that's a good anti-magnetic uh, uh, German hairspring. Okay. Um, now, this these next two, now this is really two different models. The Globetrotter is a function and rather than a model. So here you have the Chrono Felix, which is a chronograph uh, version of a Felix, uh, $7,500. And you can see the, uh, the dual time hand down there at uh, on the 11. It's a 24 hour uh, timer around it. And then on Irwin, uh, you have the same thing, except you have the jumping seconds with it, $8,100. I think of the two, that's my favorite because I'm not a big fan of chronographs. N nothing against their chronograph, it's just not my thing. But I really like the uh, uh, the Globetrotter uh, function on the Irwin. I like the Irwin, it's got jumping seconds like that. Now, these next two are the Master Control. They have a lot of different models, more so than the Reverso. But there's something about the Master Control that I really like. At one time, they had the, oh, what was it called? The Physic something or other. Great, great set of models. And then the, they got rid of those, that sort of whole line of models. And I think the Master Control has some of the remainders of it. Now, the, uh, the Geographic... Uh, that was, it was called the Geophysic. It was after the Geophysic line from back in the 1950s. They had the year, the Geophysic year. So the Geographic is sort of a residue, I think, to some extent of that. Uh, love this watch. Uh, you have a power reserve indicator. Uh, it's caliber 939. You have at the bottom there different, uh, you can set it to different time zones. You have a 24-hour uh, clock, uh, you have a 24 hour display and it's, it's got a, it's, it's just one of those really great watches. I think, um, stainless steel, 40 millimeters, something I like a lot. Now next to it is their chronograph calendar and it's got a moon phase, which <laughs> doesn't do much for me. In fact, Chronographs don't, but a lot of people like chronographs. And if you like chronographs, this is a nice chronograph. Caliber 759. It's a day, date, seconds, chronograph, moon phase, hour, minute, 30 minute counter. Uh, chronograph second automatic, uh, 4 hertz, two barreled. Uh, the one on the left is a single barrel, a double barrel. Okay, um, moving right along, there's this next one is the Doppel 38. Now, Doppel is sort of the German version of a Rattrapont. And I, and I could be wrong about this, but I think what this is from, at one time, Richard Hobring worked for IWC, and, and they were trying to figure out how to get a Doppel set up, and, and Richard Hobring figured it out for him. And this is the Doppel 38. Now, I went looking for the price on the Doppel 38, and it was really hard to find. I mean, there were a lot of, of um, chronographs, the Felix Chrono, but I couldn't find this, the 38. Now, the thing is about the 38, this was the first um, Doppel that was in a 38 millimeter case, a relatively small case. The Doppel Felix, which is a different one, is in a 42 milli case, uh, millimeter case. So this one was called the Doppel 38. Manual winding, hour minute display, small seconds, um, hand at, at nine o'clock, uh, stop seconds hand, and 30 minute counter, split seconds. Okay, now split seconds is your Rattrapont or your Doppel. Um, and it just, this watch is really something. Now, the price that I found was 9,250 euro. 
And uh, again, you'd have to sort of hunt around. All of these prices, it's very hard to find the prices on um, the Hubbring 2 watches because they're all centered in their... Um, uh, the ADs, uh, and there aren't a lot of ADs. There's two in the U.S., one on the East Coast and one on the West Coast. So, But anyway, this is a watch, I, another one. I, something, I don't like chronographs, but for some reason I like Rector Ponce, <laughs> just because it's fun to say. Uh, this one's uh, doppel, not quite as much fun, but it's pretty good. Okay, uh, finally, the final two I want to talk about are, and this is the thing that I like most about Zadra Lacoutre and Harbring 2. They've got great technology. I mean, they have, when I say great technology, what I mean, they have ingenious and even genius types of mechanisms and mechanical mechanisms. Uh, the Irwin uh, came out after the Felix, and it's basically the Felix plus jumping seconds. Okay, so, uh, and then what you can find it, at uh, Harboring 2, you can find a picture of the little mechanism that gives it jumping seconds, which I think is like, is, is really cool. Um, Georges Lacoutre used to have one of my very favorite watches called True Seconds. And it, they had this beautiful uh, device for jumping seconds, but it was one of the ones they, you know, <laughs> the 86th. Um, but anyway, so this is, if if you want to get a good watch with uh, jumping seconds, people what do you have, what do you need jumping seconds for? You can get a quartz and I'll have jumping seconds. Uh, they used to be called doctor's watches because the doctor could take the old pulse and bip, 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 and it was easier to count. And that was why they had jumping seconds rather than the sweeping seconds. So that's the story behind it. Now, <laughs> The, the Fujoriant, or uh, Felix, any Fujoriant, I have no idea who gets this watch. Well, I do. And these are people who love mechanical watches. <laughs> they have. Over at 9 o'clock, there's a small second over there, but it's not a small second. It's a Fujoriant. Ah, probably said it wrong. What those are for, this thing is you have... I believe you have four rotations per second <laughs> in that. And so the old Fortune Run gets going the, like that. I, I don't know what you'd use it for. I, I really don't. But I think it's really cool to have. I mean, just as a, and again, uh, Richard Harbury put the mecha, uh, mechanism in there for you to show what they look like. Uh, you can get one for seventy nine seventy five. I'm not sure who gets them. I know there'd be a riot to have with that thing spinning like mad. <laughs> Show it to somebody. You want to know the time? Take a look at it. I don't know. I, I just love that watch. So what it is, is having fun with mechanical uh, watchmaking. Okay. Anyway, those are two companies that I really like for... Great watches. My wife has a Reverso, uh, and as you can see, I have a, uh, a, a Felix. I'm very tempted to sell my Felix and get a um, uh, one of the other other ones. I the one I like a lot is the uh, Globetrotter, the Irwin Globetrotter, and then I'd have an Irwin with jumping seconds plus um, the, uh, the the dual time zone. Anyway, uh, but I like uh, the other one too. I, is actually an older Judge Lacoutre that's a world timer. <laughs> so those are the ones that, that I happen to like the most. I would really like to hear what your opinion is. And uh, let me know. This is an opportunity to subscribe if you like. Until next time, this is Bill Sanders or Watch Art Side, the art and science of Watch Collection.